Hey guys, uh, what's up? It is Tuesday, April 21st, and on Monday, April 20th, Tweety for Mac came out. And uh, if you guys don't know what Tweety is, it's basically been a Twitter client for the iPhone and iPod Touch, and it's been the most successful. It is um, $3 in the App Store, I believe, and it has been on the top 25 apps page for quite a while now, and it's really beating out all the other uh, Twitter clients that... Um, are not free in the App Store. So now they have released the desktop version. As you can see, the icon down here in my dock, Tweety, right next to Twirl. If anyone wants a Tweety versus Twirl video, um, please feel free to request that and I'll get on that. Um, just one thing you guys should probably know the uh, Tweety is $15 for the Mac platform. It's not free, just like for the iPod. And while I believe it should be free, it's really a lot better than Twirl, but for cost, um, since Twirl is free, I would probably go with the Twirl. Um, so it's my forward opinion. But getting into the basic overview of Tweety, I'm just going to launch the application here. And it says, should it check for updates automatically? But it just came out yesterday, so I'm just going to go ahead and click don't check. And here it goes. It opens your tweets. So, basically, up top, you get your icon, shows you who's you, it will ask you to log in the first time. Um, preferences pane, basically what you get is you can display either a full name or a username. You can do uh, the font size, and you can, check, you can do your imaging service. I'm actually going to change it to TwitPic, because that's what I prefer, and that's what the most used is. And then you can also change your URL shortening service. So um, it doesn't really matter to me. It's just if you guys don't know what that is, if you type in like a long URL like youtube.com slash greaterkid95 or smartalligate125, sorry, that's my uh, Twitter name, then it'll basically shorten it to tiny URL, blah, 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 and it'll be a lot shorter. Um, so that's what Twitter does. Twitter usually uses. Um, Tiny URL, but bit.ly is fine for me. Also, the image service basically, if you upload a picture, it'll automatically upload it to the uh, website of your choice. So, for accounts, you can have more than one account at once. Uh, here's my Twitter name. Please go follow me, GreaterKid95, twitter.com slash GreaterKid95. Link will all be in the description as always. Um, so, yep, you can do plus, minus, obviously, you know, normal stuff. And the advanced tab. The advanced tab just has some stuff that most people wouldn't want to change. But as you can see, like open links in the background, show ads. Um, not quite sure what that is because why would you even want ads? But I'm just not going to leave that alone because I haven't seen any ads. Anyway, so basically what you get um, is a standard Tweety or standard Twitter layout. The thing I don't like about this is I, for Twirl, I used to open it full screen in my secondary display, which I now post in portrait mode. And what you can't do with this is you can't extend it past there. So once you do it there, then the tweets will extend there, but you can't do it past there. With Twirl, you could do it as much as you wanted. So there's one drawback for me. I do like the layout. It's very Apple-like when you switch these tabs. As you can see, you have a tweets ats, messages, and search, and when you switch them, it kind of, um, I don't, I can't think of the word, it just kind of flows into it, like it's not just a click, oh, it, you're there, but it goes up, yeah, so you know what I mean now that you've seen it. Um, shout out to Holly for being the last person to at me, um, she's a great friend of mine. Anyway, uh, so here's all the ats, and then you go to messages, you can see friend Ian saying that I have to plug him but I don't especially since I plug him all the time um, so yeah so now I've cleared up all those obviously before it said one one whatever over here that obviously means you have uh, Twitter or yeah uh, tweets or ats or messages so then over here at search like if I wanted to search at your kid 95 I was 
could show me all my ass, even though I could just go there, but then I could do that for, like, at... Whatever. Like, someone else that I wanted to see their ads. Like, if I wanted to see Chris Perillo's ads. Anyway. Um, so that is the basic overview. Obviously, you can scroll down, 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 and then if you go all the way to the bottom, it will load more tweets for you. Oh, last but not least, obviously, how do you tweet? Well, there's a little thing on the bottom. It kind of shoots something out at you, as you can see. Again, I like that kind of layout. You know, moving from that, shoots out, looks very cool. Shorten URLs, add image, and doing a basic overview of Tweety for Mac video. Should be up soon. So now I'll post that. And as you can see, it's at the top. And so that is the basic overview of Tweety for Mac, guys. Remember, $15 um, is its cost. And if you would like to go to the website, please go check it out in the description. Um, also, make sure to follow me on Twitter. Again, I said it before, but GreaterKid95. Link is in the description. Go follow me, and thank you for watching.